Hi guys and gals, how are my math wizards today? Are you ready for some math? You know I love math. I sent you an extra page with some dominoes on it. Dominoes are fun. If you don't have any, you should get some. They are great for math practice. These are dominoes. You can get them at like the dollar store. They have little bitty ones at Dollar Tree. Um, and I like to use dominoes for doing math. So here is some domino addition. I add one side plus the other side to find out how many domino or how many dots are on the whole domino. So it makes me think of one part, the other part, and the whole. So this part is two. This part is four, and that makes one, two, three, four, five, six dots on the whole domino. And that should not be hard for you on any of those except on this guy. What do I do when it's blank? How many dots are on here? Yeah, zero. There's no dots here. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six plus zero dots. And that makes how many dots? A number plus itself is the same number, so six plus zero will be six. I sent you this page. You have one today and one tomorrow. And what I want you to do for each of these, it should be easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I want you to write the number that is one less. So the number that is one less is the number that you say, the first number you say when you count backwards. Or if you count forward, it's the number before this number. So one, two, three, four, five. Four comes before five, so that is one less. Or I can count backwards. Four, three, two, one. The first number I said after four was four, three. It comes before. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Or you can take, you can put that many counting sticks up and put one down. Five. Minus one is one, two, three, four. So we're all looking for the number that is one less. That means one smaller than the numbers on here. Just count backwards. No problem. Because you're smart, and if you think this is hard, that's okay, because in first grade, we do hard things. And our weekly or our daily word problem. Eight ducks are swimming in the pond. There's the number word for eight. Eight ducks are swimming in the pond. Four ducks, they gave us another number word. Four ducks fly away. How many ducks are still swimming in the pond? Write a number bond, number sentence, and a statement. Draw a number path to prove your answer. Ooh, it said I should draw a number path. So I need to write my numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I only need eight because there's eight. So I can draw my own number path. Look, there, I did it. I drew my own number path. And it said eight ducks are swimming in the pond. Eight is my hole. That's going to be my biggest number. Four ducks fly away. So eight ducks are swimming. Take away four of them. How many ducks are still there? Or I could say four plus something gave me eight. Right? right -o. All right, eight, circle it, four, circle it. Let's count down, eight, seven, 
six, five, four. How many jumps was that? One, two, three, four. Make sure you don't skip any numbers when you jump. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Ooh, I know my doubles facts. Four plus four is eight. So I can say four ducks still in still in the pond. Four ducks still in the pond. So your math lesson today is all about drawing good organized pictures when you use a picture to help you subtract. We thought takeaway was going to be hard. Not for us. We're math smarties. We can do this. All right. There are five toy air airplanes flying at the park. One went down and broke. Uh-oh. Goodbye. How many airplanes are still flying? So there's the one that broke. Goodbye. See ya. How many are left? One, two, three, four. Not marked out. See how helpful those pictures are? Five minus one is four. And you can always use your counting sticks. Five minus one is four. I had six eggs from the store. And oh, I noticed they gave us pictures that are really organized. They're all in one row together. They're not like all wonky all over the page. That's too hard to tell what's going on when I do that. Six eggs from the store. Three, ooh, there's a number word, of them were cracked. How many eggs did I have that were not cracked? So three is the part I know about, right? And I need to find out that missing part. Three were cracked. One, two, three. Three cracked. Goodbye. And one, two, three are left. So I took away three. Six. Take away three. I took three away. And three are left. Good old doubles fact for you. On the back, we have to draw our own math pictures. So we will practice that. Draw a number bond and a math drawing to help you solve the problems. Kate saw eight cats playing in the grass. Three, there's that number word for three, went away to chase a mouse. I'll put that a little closer for you. How many cats remained in the grass? So there were eight, and three is part. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We just use math circles. We don't need fancy art, unless you want to be doing math all day long. All right, three went away. Bye-bye, three. One, two, three. Goodbye. And we have one, two, three, four, five left over. So I had eight mice. I took away three. Another word for uh, subtraction is take away. Eight, take away. Three mice left me one, two, three, four, five mice, five, or five cats. So sorry, five cats still in the grass. There were seven mango slices. Two of them were eaten. How many mango slices are left to eat? Seven, two. Those are the numbers I've got to work with right now. So seven is the big number. Two is part. Seven, take away two. We took them away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many do I take away? Yeah, two. Goodbye, one, two. How many are left? One, two, three, four, five. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. We've got this. The last one on the next page. 
That's your exit ticket. That's where I see if you know how to do this all by yourself. So let's read this problem. There were nine kites flying in the park. Three kites, there's that number word for three. So I always write the number by the number word. Three kites got caught in the trees. How many kites were flying? So let's think about this. We had nine and we take away three. Can you do it? Can you set up your number bond and your number sentence and draw a good math picture? Now, they didn't give you enough room for a big, long row of nine, so you can do it down here. That's fine. This box was supposed to be for the picture, but if you want to do a tiny picture in the box, you certainly can, but I like to make mine big because that's just how I am. So go right ahead and make a map picture down there. As long as your page has a picture on it of quick math circles, we're good. All right, math wizards, go rock this math problem. Bye.